dear students this is dr srinivas master academy of mathematics today we are going to discuss about uh, unit number 5 of odevc btech first year second semester the main important and gun shot problems according to your examination point of view this is unit number 5 vector integration first i give you the important questions and later on we directly enter onto the solutions part so just once again you look at the important questions you can expect in the final examination short answers first of course i will give you question wise answers but meanwhile you look into the complete questions at one place vector integration basically it is having three different integrals and one more is three different theorems so based on that only we are having the short and as well as long questions major important thing is you can expect one is line integral it is also called as work done or it is circulation single integral and another important topic is, is definitely you can expect in the same exam is green theorem either it may be verification or it may be any one of the problems every theorem is having a own spe speciality so based on that if you can understand the basic concept of but that particular theorems instead of using the general integration you can directly apply your theorems in either of the cases you will get the same marks only the thing is how to apply the theorems corresponding to the problems that is one important thing is so overall i was given 12 long answer type questions and uh, remaining short answers type okay so for this particular vector integration i am going to give you the complete answers stay tuned so that you can expect your solutions also now let us start our solutions one by one what is surface integral a very simplest definition is an integral evaluated over a surface it generally said to be surface integral and mathematically you can denote with integral over s f bar of dot n bar ds where n bar is generally said to be unit normal vector to the surface and since the surface is involving two variables so either you are going to take xy plane or it is yz plane or it is zx plane depending on your given problem you can use any one of the plane so that you are going to get the same answer so that is about surface integral what is gauss divergence theorem the general statement is integral over v divergence of f bar of dv it is equal to integral over s a bar dot n bar ds it is a statement which is a link between double integral and triple integral given by gauss a line integral definition it is an integral evaluated along a line between the points this is also called as work done circulation single integral mathematically denoted by integral over c a bar dot dr bar state the condition for a vector field to be conservative conservative is also called as irrotational so a vector function is irrotational if its curl is equal to zero curl only uses the cross product whereas gradient and divergent use dot product define work done which is nothing but a line integral you are calculating it is integral between the points a to b a bar dot dr bar a volume integral is nothing but it is an integral evaluated over a volume so volume it is inside the area of a surface generally said to be volume and it uses the triple integral three variables in three directions green's theorem a statement is given it is also important the integral looking like integral over c m dx plus n dy that is equal to integral over s do n by do x minus do m by do y of dx dy 
it is evaluated only in xy plane should have the two variables and that single integrand looking like mdx plus ndy type that is about green's theorem and here stokes theorem it is integral over c f bar dot dr bar equal to integral over s karloff f bar dot n bar ds it is a link between line and surface integral a closed curve closed curve means you are going to construct one curve between the two points where the end points are equal that means starting and end point if both are coinciding then such type of curve we call it as closed curve and smooth curve is nothing but it is also a curve but it is a continuously differentiable so for the curve you are going to evaluate one function that must satisfy two properties continuous and differentiation so that we call it as smooth curve projection is nothing but it is based on surface integral so integral over s f bar dot n bar ds either you are going to take xy plane or it is yz plane or it is zx plane that we call it as projection over the surface now prove that one particular vector function is conservative conservative is nothing but curl is equal to zero the very easiest thing is nothing but the determinant so for the given vector function you are calculating the determinant and if it is equal to zero we call it as conservative evaluate one integral is given where c is a circle in xy plane so it is suppose if you don't know about the theorems you can generally use your uh, line integral and the line integral should have only the variable single variable so for that they have given the xy plane where z is equal to zero so you calculate f bar dot dr bar again it is going to have two variables and to convert into single variable they have given x square plus y square equal to 1 so for that you convert into trigonometric terms in terms of polar coordinates so that based on that you are going to evaluate the line integral or else i give you one simplest logic that evaluation that can be done by applying your stokes theorem it is integral over c f bar dot dr bar that is exactly equal to integral over s karloff f bar dot n bar ds here karloff f bar that means for the given integrand first you select curl so based on that you can directly find out that line integral it is very easy when you apply your stokes theorem and here evaluate one line integral is given so this is also you can apply directly green theorem instead of using general integration green theorem directly you will get the answer for this just i am scrolling down just one by one you can uh, stop the video and you can identify step by step and if you want to get the complete pdf of this particular solutions you can comment in the comment section so that i will forward the complete pdf to your email so it is a vector function is given prove that that vector is conservative conservative is nothing but its curve is equal to zero when curl is equal to zero there you can find out the scalar potential the formula is it is f bar equal to gradient of phi and find work done so it is nothing but directly you are calculating the single integral between the points so first part curl is equal to zero then you are evaluating scalar potential formula f bar equal to gradient of phi so from this you are calculating phi and after getting that uh, they have not uh, written this third part the third part is nothing but work done you are calculating the line integral between the points line integral generally it can be calculated for the single variable of course there is no other chance to convert into single variable keep that vector function as it is f bar dot dr bar and you write down that complete two points 2 11 and 2 01 direct integration no need of converting to single variable so directly you will get the answer verify green's theorem verification in the sense you are calculating both left and right side of green theorem individually and you are getting same answers maximum you will get the equal answer when it is equal then only you will get 
verification done. So first you calculate left hand side. So for that a bar dot dr bar. So dr bar we have the two different curves are given. One is C1 and another is C2. So corresponding to C1 you calculate 1 and C2 you calculate 1 and based on that right side integral and as well as left side integral and you are going to get the answer. Okay. Same answer. So finally you are going to get the answer is 3 by 2 on both the sides, left side equal to right side. Verify Green's theorem, maximum Green theorem problem is essential in the examination point of view. Verification, you calculate both uh, integrals left and right. For your easiness, I am going to give you the solutions, find the volume integral. So, triple integral x square dy, of course it is not in your syllabus, it has to be converted into spherical coordinates, nothing to worry, if you want you can calculate without converting into spherical coordinate, first you focus on last variable from the given equation, from that the limits are 0 to that particular under root of 1 minus x square minus y square, then substitute z equal to 0, you will get y limits and y limits are 0 to under root of 1 minus x square and similarly x limits means you substitute y equal to 0, so x limits are 0 to 1. So, 3 integrations you are going to find out and its final answer you will get it. And ninth one, find work done, work done is nothing but it is a line integral, directly 2 points are given here, so you need not convert into this type of question directly find out f bar dot dr bar and you substitute the 3 points directly 0 0 0 2 2 1 3. So, do the integration with respect to x y z and substitute the limits x limit 0 to 2 y limit 0 to 1 z limit 0 to 3. Of course, same answer, but it is another approach in order to get your answer. Verify Stokes theorem. So, problem is given verification. In Stokes theorem you need to remember one point here you need not calculate n bar, n bar is nothing but it is a perpendicular vector to the selected plane. If I am selecting x y plane, perpendicular vector is z axis vector is nothing but k. So, directly n bar is nothing but k, that is the only advantage in Stokes theorem. So, you are calculating first right side, then you are moving to left side, in both the cases you are going to get the answer, same answer. This is written by one of our students, of course under the guidance of faculty members. Initially the questions are given and uh, they have given these solutions. So, evaluate a surface integral. The very easy you need not surface integral means you need to construct bounded by a cube means a cube you need to construct and uh, there are certain uh, different lines and based on that lines you are calculating. But my simple solution is this surface integral you convert into triple integral by applying uh, gas divergence theorem. Anyhow the limits are given x limits 0 to a, y limits 0 to a, z limits 0 to a. So, by Gauss divergence theorem directly you will get the answer, you need not construct this type of diagram and you need not calculate on different regions to get your surface integral individually. So, overall they have given 6 different regions and adding all these you are going to get answer, but better you apply Gauss divergence directly triple integral within few steps you will get the answer, it is not much bigger than this. So, Gauss divergence theorem verification, 
so both side you need to calculate it is somewhat complicated because double and triple integral double integral also having nine different steps in order to get your, get your answer no need of writing this direct you will get again six different regions based on that at least one part you need to find out in the examination other part automatically verification in the sense that definitely you will get the same answer so compute the line integral a triangle is given of course you can apply green's theorem also for this and green while well, applying green's theorem it is uh, right side double integral you are calculating do n by do x minus do m by do y of dx dy here x limits are that look at the coordinates 1 0 minus 1 so the limits are minus 1 to 1 and y limits 0 1 1 0 1 0 so y limits 0 to 1 you can directly use green's theorem so that you will get the answer otherwise you construct this triangle and along a b along b c c a individually you are calculating the line integral when you are calculating individually line integral if the common point exists nothing to worry directly you can find out the dx dy if common point does not exist there you are using a formula y minus y1 equal to it is slope into x minus x1 where slope stands for y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 corresponding to the line that is also very easy when the points are not common there you can use that one so prove by Stokes theorem this was given several times in the previous examination Stokes theorem it is curl of f bar dot n bar ds is given so left side is nothing but as per the Stokes theorem divergence of f bar of dv that is your left but when you think about Stokes theorem that Stokes theorem is applicable only when the surface is nothing but open surface but here they have given one expression x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 which is nothing but a closed sphere so that closed sphere need not be applicable to the Stokes theorem so directly its value is equal to 0 only for open surface you can find out but here it is closed is given so for that reason directly its uh, surface area is equal to 0 so from that by applying Stokes theorem you will get equal to 0 within 2 or 3 lines you can find out the answer only you think about only the statement it is applicable only for open surface but since that given expression is a closed sphere its surface area is equal to 0 11th one evaluate line integral we can apply directly Green's theorem need not construct the square if you have a fashion you can construct the square and uh, four lines are given along the four lines you need to calculate individually and sum it up so that you will get final answer ok so these are the different answers corresponding to the given important problems so better you practice well and definitely you will get a maximum score all the best my dear students this is the fifth unit of ODEVC vector integration of BTEC first year second semester thank you